那个女的就要学这个。<笑>我是新疆 ，and today still the seventeenth. We're still here at the、uh, buzzer. Xinjiang and uh, this is the instrument shop in the、uh, on the Bazu Street. And all these instruments are handmade. You can see how all these instruments are made uh, from uh, from nearby. They actually made it make it on the spot. So if you want to go see, or I'll take you. I'll actually take you guys to go see the instruments. And all the other things they make, they make not only instruments and a lot of other things as well. So, we're going to go to the next one. 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 Very busy Market Street. Like I said, a lot of dental clinics for some reason. Tons of dental clinics. I have no idea why. It's the most dental clinics I've seen in forever. Maybe these uh, <laughs> Muslims are <laughs> really into dental. Healthy teeth, I suppose. So here is one of the workshops, carpenter shops uh, for toys. And all the other decorations. Kids of young ages, probably like a family a tradition thing, so father and son. Also here, also shop doing different things. I think this one's t a table table legs. These are table legs. Uh, not sure what this one's doing. Oh, so just processing smaller table legs. That's what they're doing. And another carpet shop. Tons of carpet shops over here. 
Unfortunately, carpets are really, really expensive, and if you want to buy them, uh, the shipping fee is not cheap either. So, lots of money to be spent here. None that I will be spending, but uh, you could, for sure. <laughs> if you ever come to Kashgar. Come on, let's go. <笑>小妞給爺笑一個給爺笑一個不笑也給你笑一個不笑笑了我眼睛就眯了爺給你笑一個哦<笑><笑> He's playing again. Makes me want to sit here for the whole day and just listen to him. I mean, I could. That would be sweet. But then I'll have to buy him dinner. Or something. This is just a completely different feeling from... from China. From the rest of China. Completely different. And here they have the price for a kilo of lamb, 39 yuan. Super cheap. It's 40 yuan right here. Super cheap lamb. In inland, it'll be a lot more expensive. And in Urumuchi, the capital, it'll be about 50. $10 difference. So you can buy a whole lamb and a whole raw lamb and process it yourself for about 800 yuan, I suppose. Just hang out. Lots of antique shops over here. I don't even bother going to them anymore. Most of these things are not worth even paying attention to. Tons of Yengesan knives. Yengesan knives are really famous. And not very cheap. I mean, what am I gonna buy a knife for? Even if I do manage to bring it back to Canada, who am I gonna stab? Who am I gonna stab? Donkey! Tons of donkeys on the street. <laughs> Is that Iraqi money I just saw? <laughs> awesome. Local industry. Uh, these are hot pot and pots, pans, pots and pan makers. <laughs> Very lively place. 
lots of fruits we sold and bought. One thing about Kashgar that I've noticed is there are no mosquitoes, but tons of flies. No mosquito because there are no rivers around. Everything is ridiculously dry. But there are tons of flies. Mostly because there are a lot of dead animals, you know. It's right on the street. There was a lot of garbage too around. Lots of fruits, mostly grapes, peaches, pears, and uh, also pears, watermelons, lots of these. I'm also trying to look for a bank because I'm almost running out of money. So, what? So, sorry. You want to eat <laughs> She's hungry and she is looking for food. A local Muslim restaurant. She's a Okay, so it's uh, the month of Ramadan. Month of Ramadan, so uh, it's supposed to be a month of solemn, solace and contemplation and supposed to think about uh, important things and uh, so the rules are no eating, no drinking, no smoking, no getting angry, no laughing, and pretty much just a very flat month. Just by my very outsider, stupid standard. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there are a lot more deep, deeper meanings to it. I'm, I'm just, you know, trying to trying to simplify it for the uh, for the viewers, <laughs> for you guys. Um, basically. No eating and drinking drink, uh, no eating and drinking water uh, between the uh, when, when the sun's up. So you have like two meals, ap one after the sun down, one before the sun comes up in the morning. So you have two meals. That was about that's about it. And uh, you have to respect them. If you eat and eat on the street, it's really disrespectful because they can't eat. How? Why should you, right? Um, Well, it's a big one. Same here, big one. Come on, come on. 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 Come on, come all of us have to stay really quiet after the sun's down because after the sun's down they start praying and uh, doing all sorts of muslim -y stuff I'm sorry if I'm sounding insensitive, sounding insensitive and ignorant but I couldn't find a better word to describe it also you might be wondering why the there's a lot of people in the restaurant if when I said they shouldn't be eating not all of not everybody is following the, uh, the, the Ramadan rules. You, you don't have to if you don't wanna, but uh, it's preferred if you do. And also, if you're a uh, working class, if you're like a construction worker, and also if you're doing anything, something important, you can't, you need your strength. So they can, uh, they can eat during Ramadan. But uh, if you're a devoted Muslim, you don't eat during Ramadan. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in a bit, probably, later.